Hey, what's going on, everybody? And today we're going to be doing another mod showcase on GTA 5 for PC. Um, this is on the mod script hook 5. This is essentially um, a mod menu that's in game, just like GTA 4. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, basically, all you have to do is just go on GTA5mods.com. Right here, GTA5mods.com. And um, they, they're putting up uh, utilities and mod, new mods. People are developing new mods. You can upload yours pretty easily. Just create an account. Um, okay. All right. Um, you can uh, upload stuff. You can have an account. Um, so under tools, this is the latest tool script hook. This is what I downloaded. Downloaded. Um, I liked it, of course. But he, this is nine hours ago from the time I made this video. So. Um, yeah, so this installation is copy script script hook that DLL um, from Ben. You just download it. It'll, you know what? Hold on. If you uh, download it, it'll give you this. You open that, unzip it, um, extract it, and it'll give you this file, this file, and this file. These sound native trainer ASI and script hook five. And so um, all you have to do is drag and drop script hook 5.dll um, not just well no never mind you have to drag and drop all of these all these files into the source folder of grand theft auto v which is right here so you have to do is drag and drop these into here into this folder and then um it just run the game and that's pretty much it and in order to activate the mod menu in game you just press f4 on your keyboard um this will not work out on an online and i don't recommend trying to mod online because you're gonna get there's a big chance you're gonna get caught and get banned um so yeah let's go ahead and run the game so that's how you install it and we're gonna run the game that was weird I'll um, speed it up. Alright guys, um, we're finally in game, it took about 10 minutes, I don't have no idea why, just logic. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this mod. So, you're in game, in story, and um, now all you have to do to activate the menu is press F4. Here's F4, this is, uh, this is the menu. Um, you can troll by scrolling by the key number keypad you have on the right side of your keyboard. If you don't have that, um, get one, get a keyboard that has one, because otherwise you might not be able to control it. I'm not really sure if there's any alternatives. Um, anyway, with the number keypad, eight is eight is scroll up, two is scroll down, five is to select, zero is to go back and exit, and um, four and six are left and right if there's options for that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and do, go to player, and skin changer. Now, this will change your skin, it's Michael, um, <laughs> you'll change it every time. Every freaking time. Whatever you want to do. Franklin, you can change your skin to Franklin to a fish, a hen, cow, anything you want. But just to be aware, this might glitch out. You might have to end up restarting your game like I did. You'll start falling through the map and stuff. So I recommend don't, you know, don't, don't, don't turn into a fish on land. It's kind of a stupid idea. Um, do it in an ocean. <laughs> um, or a hen. A hen sort of works, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of glitches. So yeah, let's go and go back. That was a skin changer. Teleport. Now you can teleport. Teleport to Michael's house. And teleport. Oh jeez. Sorry, I forgot. Um, remember, when you teleport, it resets the menu to back to the home page. So you have to go back. So it prevents from spam and stuff from crashing your game. Um, let's go to Franklin's house. Here it is. Let's 
go over to Trevor's trailer. The land, it, it, it takes a while for it to render in, so just give it a second. Come on. No, you get the point. It's just, I don't know, it's just GTA. It'll eventually start coming in. Yeah, there it comes. See, there's the road. Yeah, so that's teleportation. You can teleport anywhere. Not anywhere, but you can teleport airport entrance. Here's the airport. Yep. Um, airport field, Jet Sam, all this stuff. Um, next, fix player. This will, like, just in case there's any player glitches, you'll fix that. Reset skin to the default skin. Add cash. Gotta have cash. It's the best. Um, as you can see in the top right corner there, I almost have like two. I don't know, I'm not gonna count that. <laughs> Want it up. Want it down. Never wanted. I probably would want that. Invincible. Probably would want that. Um, please ignored. Um, sorry about that. Um, please ignored means police will ignore you. Um, probably want that. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it off. Whatever. Unlimited ability, which special abilities each character has. That gives you unlimited times of use. Noise, noise, le noise less. I don't know. It's, it's saying that you don't have to. You make no noise. Um, you make no noise whenever you shoot or whatever. I think. I don't know. Fast swim. Just swim fast. Fast run. Let's see. Running really fast. And then super jump. There we go. See that? It works. Hello. That's really cool, actually. Um, that's super jump. That's it for that. So back zero. Um, now you want to go down to weapon. Weapon. You can get all weapons. So you can see I have everything fully loaded. Every single gun in the game in my weapon wheel. Um, no reload. You don't need a freaking reload. That's an option. So if you shoot, so if you were to like to shoot this. You can see in the top right, none of the bullets go down. Which is pretty good. So it's infinite, infinite rounds, infinite bullets. Fire ammo. This will um, shoot. You can see it doesn't do anything, but when you shoot car, for example, so let's say some comes from, I don't know. Um, if you shoot a car, it will catch it on fire with one bullet. So if I were to do this, I saw that for a second there. There you go. They shoot it a lot. There you go. Now the whole thing's on fire. <laughs> like that. It's in there. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. The whole thing is like a bonfire. Yeah, so that's um, fire ammo. Explosive ammo is where you shoot something and it'll. Once. See that. Um, so yeah, that's explosive ammo, which would be really fun to throw cops and stuff. Um, just one bullet can blow up, like, the whole army. I'll use, I'll use my handgun. Watch. That was, that was pretty quick, right? <laughs> yeah, that's really fun doing that. Oh my god. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, explosive melee. So let's say um, you punch something or kick something, it will ex it will have an explosion. So let's see if we can try to punch some. Uh, here. Hold up, hold up, no. I don't want to do that. Let's see. Let's just punch this. See? It'll have an explosion. Just like. Um, uh, explosive bullets. Um, so let's get that stop, please. I need to kick your truck. Let's see, come on. I need to kick your truck. <laughs> kick your car off. Yeah, 
Anyway, I have a little time to think about it. Oh my god, okay. Um, so that's explosive melee. And then vehicle rockets, I have not tried yet. I'll have to do that later. So I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, vehicle. So you can spawn cars. You can spawn... This is where you use the 4 and 6 as side keys to control. Um, so that's the car. Remember, it'll prevent some spam, so it resets. F2. And it'll have a different color every time, but you can change the color in a second here. And you can spawn a bus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yep. Army tanker. Army trailer. And there's a, there's a ton of them. There's like out of 35 you see in the top left corner of the screen. So you have a ton of, ton of stuff to mess with. So under vehicle, you can go to um, air spawner. That's what I was just at. Um, paint random. You have to be in a vehicle, so press F to get in a vehicle. So you already know. So get in. And then you can select that paint random and it'll change the colors. Which is pretty cool. Get out. Okay. And then fix is where you can fix the vehicle. Um, if it's damaged or something. You can have wrap and spawn. I don't know what that is. Um, I'll figure it out. Invincible. Invincibility. Car can't be destroyed. Speed boost. It'll make it faster. Okay. World. Moon gravity. So let's say I uh, do this. And I shoot a grenade launcher at it. You can see that everything's floating, kind of oddly. Yeah, see, it's kind of moon gravity-ish type. Okay, um, so that's moon gravity. Uh, random cops, that's default, so if you want, or if you don't want trains or cops or anything. Um, time. Hour forward, you can change the time. Hour backward. Clock pause, so freeze the time, and sync with your system. It'll sync with your system time. Your computer time. Uh, weather. You can have wind, on or off. You can watch the trees, too. I click it on, they start blowing a tiny bit more. You turn it off. I don't know. It's just whatever. Um, extra sunny, clear, clouds, smog, foggy, overcast, rain, thunder, clearing, neutral, snow, blizzard, and snow light. And then I'll, I'll probably keep it at clear. Um, so that's weather, and the miscellaneous is this next radio track. If you're in a car, you can switch the radio track, and you can force the radio track to switch, and um, hide a HUD, which is the map and menus and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on this native trainer uh, mod menu for Grand Theft Auto 5 PC. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put a download link in the description to the website and all the other awesome stuff. They have more utilities too. Um, you can also download, like, there's. Um, there's a FOV mod I have in my previous video. You can check that out. And um, they have many other things, like there's one with the enhancing colors. And there's one where you can, it's uh, Open 5, or Open 4, version 2.5, which is, um, okay, which is um, uh, compatible with Grand Theft Auto 5 now. And there's many other things, um, other than those things I just listed. You can check them out in the link in the description below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and favorite. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, see you in the next video.